Yes, yes, I'm here to report some disgusting child abuse that's happening right here in front of me. This super crazy lady is feeding her child a very healthy and micronutrient-dense vegan diet and also imposing the vegan cult on her child. Oh my gosh, Brittany, it's been so long since we've seen each other. How is everything going? Hey, Michael, great to see you too. I've, I've been doing amazing. I, I just had a little boy a couple years ago. Oh my God. <laughs> Truly, truly life-changing. His name's Daniel, but we call him Little Danny, you know, because he's so cute. Oh, Brittany, that is so amazing. I am so happy to hear this. Oh my God, thank you so much. Would you like to meet him? Yeah, oh yeah, that's amazing. I'm so excited, please. Definitely, let's please do it. I really want to meet Little Danny. Oh, great. How about we meet up at McDonald's, you know, I don't know, this coming week. Oh my gosh, I love McDonald's. Please, yes, let's go there. I really love how they have like, you know, like group one carcinogens for little children. I mean, how is little Danny gonna grow without having the cheese and the coagulated mammalian excretions on his dead cow flesh? Oh my God, exactly. I actually take a little Danny, you know, to McDonald's every other day. Oh, he loves it and he's becoming obese. A little bit more each day, but that's okay. Oh, listen, little Danny's a little kid, so it's okay. He needs to have fun. And you know, his Happy Meal, which increases his chance of cancer, also comes with a toy. So like, you know, with a toy, he gets some cancer. Like, I mean, I mean, what else could he ask for, you know? <laughs> exactly, like, what is a toy without it increasing your chances of getting cancer? Hey, Michael. Uh, so you remember we talked about little Danny getting obese from all the McDonald's that we've been feeding him, right? Yes, yes. How exciting. What about it? Well, the thing is that he's becoming a little unhealthy. A lot unhealthy, actually. So I think that we're going to change up his diet a little bit. Oh my gosh. Really? Okay, so what diet are you thinking? Well, we're actually thinking of feeding him a whole foods plant-based diet, you know, for weight loss. And doctors say that plant-based diets can be high in volume and nutrients. And obviously, when, you know, with this, little Danny would become more satiated and that would help him lose weight. Wait a minute, you're thinking about feeding him a vegan diet? Yeah, we just, we just think and believe that a vegan diet would help him. Plus, little Danny, He's an animal lover. He really loves animals. And we just think it would be nice, it would be really cool if his diet didn't require, you know, for animals to be bred into existence and then, you know, for them to be murdered. Um, who are you calling? Who do you think? Child services? You're taking your kid's diet, which includes group one carcinogens, and replacing it with a diet that has a bunch of micronutrients in a diet that is healthier. Not only that, but you're taking your kid's diet, which required, you know, like abusing animals and making him not have that diet. You're forcing him to have a diet that doesn't force animals to die. Like this is child abuse. You are abusing your child by not letting your child have a diet which requires animal abuse. You're a monster. Wait, 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 wait. How can it be child abuse? I'm switching my child's diet for him to be healthier. He's obese. Like, how is that child abuse? I don't understand. No, no, you're not understanding what I'm saying. I'm calling you a child abuser for feeding your child a vegan diet to make me feel better about not being a vegan myself because not being vegan makes me feel very guilty. Wait, what? So you're calling child services because I'm feeding my son a plant-based diet and that makes you feel guilty about not being vegan? Yes, exactly. But honestly, let's put that aside for now and just talk about all the nutrients that your child is going to be missing. Like what? I mean, let's start with an obvious one. What about protein? Plants have protein. Okay, iron? Plants have iron. Damn it, Brittany, little Danny is going to die. Oh my God, Michael, you have to understand. I am working with a nutritionist and the nutritionist is making sure that little Danny gets everything that his body needs to grow up healthy. Like, I just really don't understand why you're freaking- I'm just so upset because I have a child too and I feed them McDonald's and I'm aware that this is a very unhealthy diet. So when I hear about you feeding little Danny, you know, like a healthy vegan diet, it makes me feel guilty. So to compensate for this guilt, I have to be hypercritical of what you're feeding your kid. If you're feeling guilty about the food that you're feeding your child with that's unhealthy and <laughs> just horrible for him, you should, you know, maybe consider I can 
put you in touch with the nutritionist and- Brittany, are you trying to tell me how to raise my child? I can't believe you right now. Huh? Weren't you just calling child services on me and you were actually trying to tell me how to raise my child? Oh my gosh, thank you for reminding me. I totally forgot. I'm gonna call them again. Wait, Michael, you really don't- Hi, uh, yes, this is Child Services. How may I help you? Hi there. Is this Child Services? Ah, uh, yeah, this is Child Services. How may I help you? Is this Child Services? Yes, this is Child Services. Is this Child Services? Sir, this is Child Services. Yes, yes, I'm here to report some disgusting child abuse that's happening right here in front of me. This super crazy lady is feeding her child a very healthy and micronutrient-dense vegan diet and also imposing the vegan cult on her child. Well, wait, sir, is this a prank? No, this is not a prank. Do you hear what I'm saying right now? This lady is feeding her son a healthy diet. How, how is it child abuse to feed her son a healthy diet? Listen, let me spell it out for you. She is forcing her son to be a vegan. Sir, at the end of the day, you kind of need to feed your kids something. Like you have to force your child to consume some sort of diet. So how is this lady feeding her son a healthy diet an example of a child abuse? Dude, are you vegan too? Hmm. Well, yeah, now that you mentioned it, not me, uh, you mentioned it, my parents did raise me vegan, so yeah, I am a vegan. Oh, really? I guess I'm going to be calling child services on your parents too. Can you please give me the number for child services? Sir, this is child services. Oh, right. Well, just so you know, your parents need to be reported to the police. Sir, I'm not going to report my parents to the police. What part of you thinks that I would just call the police on my parents? Dude, your parents never let you have bacon. That shit is so good. You were basically abused as a child. Question, honestly, are you recovering from your baconless childhood yet? Like, is the trauma gone? Like, do you need help? Because, like, I can help you with that. Hello? Hello? Damn it, he f***ing hung up. Michael, can you please just calm down? Oh yeah, Brittany, let me just calm down while I have this complete child abuser in front of me feeding her son a diet which is better for animals, the planet, and his health. Wow, yeah, I'm just gonna calm down. Yeah, totally. Do you have a problem with that? You should at least be giving your child the freedom to destroy his own health, the planet, and the lives of animals. You are a terrible parent. Stop abusing your child and let your son's diet support animal abuse. But he loves animals. You know how upset he would be if he only knew that his diet is killing thousands of- Oh my gosh, don't tell me you're one of those people that think that it's impossible to love animals while paying for them to be, you know, murdered, boiled alive, gassed to death. Do you really think it's impossible to love something which you pay for to be murdered? Well, I'm not a vegan, but it is hard to believe that someone could love animals and then pay for them to get killed and to suffer. It just doesn't make any sense, especially when there's plenty of options that don't require for them to be bred into existence and then tortured and then murdered for food. Are you telling me that murder isn't loving? Am I telling you that murder isn't loving? Huh? Yes. What's so weird about that question? What's weird is that you're asking me if taking somebody's life against their will is an act of love. How is it not? So if I killed you right now, would you consider that an act of love? Well, that depends. Did I have grass a couple minutes ago? Huh? Like, I was grass-fed. Um, sure. Okay, well, in that case, yes. I mean, I could have been on a factory farm eating grain, but instead I was eating grass. So in the case of me eating grass, murdering me is an act of love. Wait, wait. Question. You are an animal lover, just like my little Danny, yeah? Of course I love animals. Look at my shirt. Look. Love bacon. Bacon. Pigs, bacon. Pigs, animals. Bacon. I love bacon. Animals. I love animals. Huh. Okay. So, you only eat grass-fed beef, correct? Well, no. But I thought you just said that. Brittany, I don't actually eat grass-fed beef. It's just that when I'm talking to vegans, I like to pretend that I do to make myself feel better about the fact that I support factory farms all the time. Okay, okay, Michael, you know what? I'm really, really having a hard time understanding what you're saying. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna proceed to feed my little Danny a plant-based diet because I believe that- 
Hi, yes, this is Child Services. How may I help you? Hi there. Is this Child? Dude, even vegans don't get your weird, stupid, wannabe sense of irony here. W who is your audience? Nobody gets these dumb jokes. Dude, even vegans don't get your weird, 